hello youtube very nice day to you raining outside so i'm inside playing with my little laptops and yesterday i created a video about um, how to install uh, mint linux on your computer but one part i did not show that was uh, the very first preparing part how to prepare uh, a usb stick for uh, mint linux to install on a laptop with a bootable uh, usb uh, you must see it this way some laptops can boot from usb and some laptops can only boot from the cd-rom that is built in so if you downloaded mint linux 15 or third 14 or 13 or any version you know and you burn it to a cd and you have a cd-rom player then you have no problem because then you can run just a cd straight from uh the beginning just boot from the CD okay but a program to uh, create a bootable USB stick is unit boot in and before doing this you must stick the USB stick that you want to use in your computer and format it you know just format it so it's empty you know and then you start up this program and then it will see the drive here let's see sees D let's see if this is the right drive because I have two um, I have two drives connected and the Ethereum that is my uh, my my video video camera drive and mint 15 this is the formatted drive I just formatted it and how to format just right mouse click on your drive go to format you know and up here you can just format it just select quick format whatever it will be just fine you know and after it's formatted and it's empty then you start up unit booting and then uh, you will just go for of course your file in my case it's in my downloads and we just type uh, mint and then Linux okay there it is Linux Mint we select it yeah by the way this is the mate desktop you see that's how they call it mate desktop and then we just uh, hit OK and then the drive will be created and when it's finished don't hit reboot otherwise your computer will reboot just remove the stick and then you know close the program so this is how to create a, a bootable linux uh, usb stick you know but of course if you have a cd-rom drive you can also burn the iso file that you downloaded straight to uh, a bootable or you call it a bootable cd-rom so you can uh, boot from it so that's it people i uh, didn't want to make a too long movie because i'm also busy uh, installing mint linux 15 on a dual core laptop i had a dual core laptop my dell it was running windows 8 but i'm gonna remove windows 8. so i'm gonna install mint linux 15 on that machine and then i'm gonna show you in my next video how easy it is to modify the look and feels of Mint Linux to let it look as an Apple an Apple computer. So it will look like uh, you're running um, OS X Linux. So my next video will be named OS X Linux Mint. So that's it people. Uh, I hope you uh, now know how to uh, create a USB bootable stick you know and uh, i hope you have lots of fun installing linux don't forget linux uh, is a respectable operating system that is not there to spy on you or to uh, do anything with you it's just there so your computer isn't out of software and it doesn't have to pay to you know let it run because the idea behind linux is that um you know the guys of linux that are building these distributions they don't really want to make money they make money but in another way with developing you know and these guys they just want that uh, every computer can run on free software software that people don't have to buy before they can you know start that piece of crap called the computer you know because a computer without software is just uh, 
a piece of junk. You cannot do anything with it. It may look beautiful, but what can you do if it stays black, the screen? Nothing. So, you know, the guys of Linux were like, no, we don't want to make money. We just want to make an operating system so, you know, we can blah, de, blah, de, blah. But these guys are also hackers. They know how to get uh, hardware running that wasn't even supposed to run on Linux. You know, these guys are really, really smart. So respect uh, Linux and try it out. If you have an old laptop, you know, install one of the great distributions of Mint Linux or maybe Ubuntu 10, whatever. Don't go for 11, 12 and 13 because I just don't like the desktops that Ubuntu made. You know, they took away my start menu and I really don't appreciate that. It's just like the same thing in Windows 8. You know, Ubuntu made the same mistake. They all want to look like uh, like Linux. I want that uh, 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 version 14 of Ubuntu comes out with a normal desktop, just like in uh, Ubuntu 10 and in Linux uh, Mint 14, 15. You know, they all have this, uh, what was this desktop called? Um, I forgot mate mate desktop they just have this mate desktop and it's all good you know people can find their way install their little programs without tabs that are stocking up because the computer must calculate how to show that tab with all these bloody icons just like in ubuntu 13 you know that is a little bit silly but of course i still love ubuntu and i still use ubuntu because i'm on ubuntu 10 with my other um uh, video uh, hear me video computer the video download computer it's running ubuntu 10 with firefox you know with a plug in so i can get uh, all sorts of videos uh, for free thanks to firefox anyway peeps enough spoken i don't know why i talk so long maybe because it's taking so long to create this this disc but uh, i'm not gonna show you what i'm gonna do with this disc because uh, uh, i'm gonna do the install real fast on a dell dual core laptop the one running windows windows 8 as i said and when i'm finished with that then we're gonna make a video of how to customize Mint Linux so it will look like an Apple computer. So it will give you that rich feeling of, hey, I have an Apple computer. That while it's just Mint Linux. But then again, I think that all these great distributions such as Linux and all these you know, other operating systems, the only reason why they don't, why they are not so popular at the public is because they don't, they are not for sale. You understand? They don't make no commercial thing behind it. But I'm sure that if uh, Mint Linux would create a, a version, just like this version they have already, and they would try to sell it for 15 euros or 10 euros, whatever, you know, they would be uh, more um, people that would buy it. Because when people pay for something, then they can complain. You understand? That's all about it. And in Linux, you know you don't pay for it so you can complain but you don't get no money back because you didn't pay money for it in the first place what you can get is advice and a lot of abacadabra you know or, or just do a new install and then you know everything will work again you know i mean like we're not like some um how you call it um gurus yes we're little gurus you know but the real gurus they don't they are not on youtube you know these guys are programming in some uh, office with a uh, thousand other people you know and these guys they make sure that these distributions uh, are there for us to download so be very uh, respectful to Linux never say Linux sucks because you are too stupid to understand it don't be like that I was like that before but you know you got to grow up one day and become a better person also in the computer world thank you for watching this was Puck and have a great Saturday you know, if you go out tonight, make sure, you know, you have great fun and come back home safely. Till my next video, subscribe and like, of course. Thank you. Bye.